in permutation combination and in calculus one particular topic is regularly used that is to find the number of one one mapping to find the number of onto mapping number of into mapping uh, total number of bijective mapping so here to discuss total number of onto mapping from one discrete set a to another discrete set b so in this case suppose y equal to fx is a function and set a is called the domain set containing m number of element and set b called uh, codomain set containing n number of elements where m greater than equal to n so what is the onto mapping onto mapping means if every element of codomain has at least one element as pre image in the domain set it means if every element of the codomain is used up by the elements of the domain set the function is the onto function it means we have to just search or we have to sketch in such a way that every element of the set b has at least one pre image in the set a so how to find this first of all i'll show that if n greater than m then what will happen suppose let us consider set set a set b set a containing two elements a1 a2 set b containing b1 b2 b3 and by some relation suppose the image of a1 is b2 and image of a2 is b3 so b1 is not used by any elements of set a it means b1 has no any pre image in the set a so this is not onto therefore in this case if if n greater than m so number of onto mapping equal to 0 therefore we are finding the total number of onto mapping when m greater than n first of all what you have to do let us count the total number of function from set a to set b so total number of function from set a to set b so if we see suppose element a1 in the set a has n choice so n possibilities similarly if we just uh, think about the a2 a2 has also n choice so into n ways a3 has also n choice so in this way m times so n to the power m is the total number of functions from set a to set b now we'll find total number of into functions from set a to set b so total number of into functions what is the meaning of total number of into functions total number of into function means at least one of a or b1 or b2 or b3 in the set b has no any pre image in the set a it means at least one of b1 or b2 or b3 are missing therefore we can uh, calculate like this we know this formula that n of e1 union e2 union e3 union en equal to summation of n of e1 minus summation of a of e1 intersection e2 continuation plus n of summation of n of u1 intersection e2 intersection e3 just a minute summation of n of u1 intersection e2 intersection that is en it means what suppose e1 is the case that b1 is the missing and e2 is the case that b2 is the missing and en is the case where bn is missing so now let us find so 
if I draw this structure once again here, so once again A1, A2, A3, A M and B1, B2, B3, B N. So first of all, B1 is missing. It means we will found the number of functions where the element B1 is missing. It means what? It means A1 has n minus 1 choice, A2 has n minus 1 choice, A3 has n minus 1 choice. So we can write this as AM also has n minus 1 choice. So we can write this as n minus 1 whole to the power m where b1 is missing. It means b1 has no any pre-image in the set A. And since there are n number of elements, we can write this as n c1. And for the second case, that is in this case, e1 intersection e2, it means both will go to the second case where two elements are missing. Suppose b1 and b2 both are missing. So in this case when b1 and b2 both are missing, we can write this as a1 has then n minus 2 choice, a2 has then n minus 2 choice, a3 has n minus 2 choice. So we can write this as minus n minus 2 whole to the power m. And since we have to pick up b1, b2, it can be b2, b3, it can be b1, b3. So we have to take out of total n elements, we will take 2 at a time, it means n c2. Similarly, for the third element, uh, for the three elements n c3, n minus 3 whole to the power m. Therefore, this is the total number of into functions. Now, to get the total number of onto functions, we have to subtract from total number of functions minus total number of into functions because onto function plus into function equal to total number of function. Therefore, total number of total number of onto function equal to n to the power m minus if we just subtract total number of into functions that is n c1 n minus 1 whole to the power m minus n c2 n minus 2 whole to the power m continuation. If we generalize this we are getting summation of r equal to 0 to n minus 1 n c r minus 1 to the power r into n minus r whole to the power m. This is the total number of onto functions from two discrete set A to B. So this formula also can be written in another way. If we replace n by n minus r, it means instead of n minus r, if we write r, we can write summation of r equal to 1 to n minus 1 to the power n minus r n c r r to the power m. So any formula we can use and this is the total number of onto functions from set A to set B. So I am coming to some example. So it will be totally clear for us. Suppose m equal to 6 and n equal to 3. It means set A containing 6 elements and set B containing 3 elements. So total number of onto functions. Let us see. Here for any example, suppose m equal to 6 and n equal to 3. Therefore, if we apply the formula, suppose let us apply the formula number first formula, this is formula number 1 and formula number 2, both are same formula. So let us apply with the formula number 1. So if we apply the formula number 2, it will be the same thing. 
So if we apply formula number one, we are getting a summation of total number of onto function is summation of r equal to zero to n minus one, n equal to three. So n minus one is two, zero to two. In this case, three c r minus one to the power r and three minus r whole to the power six. Therefore, we can write this as if we put r equal to 0, we are getting 3 to the power 6 minus 3c1, 2 to the power 6 plus 3c2. So 3 to the power 6 means 729 minus 3c1 means 3, 3 into uh, 2 to the power 6, 2 to the power 6 is 64, 64 into 3. So 192 plus 3c2, 3c2 means Three, we are getting 540. Therefore, total number of onto function is 540.